Hello everyone, so in this particular video we are going to understand event based trigger in Azure Data Factory. Triggers are very much important from an interview perspective. If you will go for any interview, one question definitely you will get asked regarding a trigger. So they will ask some scenario based on the trigger. So in this video we are going to understand how event based trigger works. So first we will understand what is event based trigger, how actually it works. And also we have one of the business requirements. So based on the business requirement, we will try to do one project. How event based trigger works. So that is the agenda. So let us first understand what is event based trigger. In Azure Data Factory, event trigger is a type of trigger that allows you to automatically execute the pipeline in response of any specific event or condition. So in high level, you can understand based on certain event, if you want to run any pipeline, if you want to run any pipeline, then you will use a event based trigger. So trigger we use to execute the pipeline or to automate the pipeline. And if you want to execute any pipeline based on certain event, then you will go for the event based trigger. Now let's understand what are the events. I'll give you one of the examples. Suppose I have one of the blob storage. In this blob storage, I'm getting a file from my external resources. So if any file is getting uploaded into this particular blob, then one events will be get generated. If anyone is deleting any file which is available into this blob storage, that is also nothing but a one event for me. Now, so based on this all the event, if you want to run any of the pipeline, that is nothing but a event based trigger. So if anyone uploaded any file into this blob storage, then you want to run one of the copy data pipeline, which will transfer our data from a CSV to the JSON. So that kind of the business uh, use case uh, we can understand. So based on the certain event, if you want to run any of the pipeline, then we use a event based trigger. We'll come to the this project requirement. First, let us uh, understand in Azure Data Factory how trigger we can set up. So first you have to go into the Azure Data Factory. You have to first create a pipeline. Now once you will click on the pipeline, you can see add trigger. So once you will click on the add trigger, we have a two option trigger now and the new edit. Once you will click on the new edit, here you will get one option to create a new trigger. Now if I will click on the plus new button, now first you have to give the trigger name and in type you can set select the storage event custom event these are the event based trigger we have so if i will select on the storage events so it will ask you about the your storage related information so you can select your storage related information you can pass your container name and now you can see here we have a event now if you will see one is the blob created it is nothing but any of the file is getting updated into that particular container any of the file which is getting deleted from the blob so these are the events we have now based on this event if you want to run any of the pipeline then we use this uh, event based trigger so i hope you got like how actually we can create a trigger for the event based trigger now let's do a practical and let's do this all the step one by one so as of now let me discard this now let us understand what is our business requirement so we have one of the Azure storage in this Azure storage. If anyone is uploading any file, then what actually I want to do? I want to trigger one pipeline. I want to trigger this copy data pipeline. What this copy data pipeline will do? It will read the data from this Azure storage. So the CSV file. So if anyone is uploading any CSV file into the Azure storage based on that, I want to trigger a pipeline. And in this copy data, what actually it will happen? It will read the data from my Azure storage, this CSV file, and it will convert into the JSON. Like CSV to the JSON conversion, this particular pipeline will do. So we have, a, we will create one pipeline which will convert CSV to the JSON, whatever the CSV file to the JSON conversion it will do. And uh, when actually this pipeline will run, whenever anyone will upload any file into the Azure storage, then automatically this particular pipeline should trigger. So that is the use case we are going to do now. Now let me open. First I will show you the storage account. So I have created one storage account. So first you have to search for the storage. How to create a storage account we have already covered. So this is the storage I have already created. Click on that. We are going to create a container. So I will click on the container. 
I'll create a two container. One is the input container. So if anyone is uploading any CSV file into this input container, based on that, I will try to run my pipeline. And I will create another output CSV, output JSON. This is another container I am creating. So if anyone is uploading any file into this input CSV container then my Azure Data Factory pipeline will run. It will read the data from input CSV and it will convert into JSON and it will store into this output JSON that is the practical we will do. I will go to the Data Factory now. What is the first step we will do? We will first create a pipeline. So click on this pipeline, click on the new pipeline. After that you had to click on the move and transform. Click on the copy data. After that, we will create a data set. So I'll select the source. Click on the new. Where actual our source is? Source is Azure Blob Storage. So I will select that. Continue. File is CSV file. So I'll select that. After that, we will click on the link service. So we are going to create a link service for that. We will select the Azure subscription. We will select our Azure storage account and we will click on the create. After that we will select the file path. So I will select the input CSV that is our source. I will click on the OK and I will just click on the OK. Means our source is ready. So we are given only the input container. So what actually I will do? I want to have a condition if anyone is uploading any csv file then csv file only should be converted into the json so that is my requirement so in that case to read only the csv file from the container what i will use i will use a wildcard file path in this wildcard file path you can see input csv this is the path right here you can pass star.csv star means it will read all the file star.csv means it will read only the csv file so if anyone is uploading any CSV file, that CSV file will get converted into the JSON. So that is the work we will do. Now our source is now ready. Now go to the sync. For sync also we will create a data set. What is our target location is blob storage. So I will select that. I want to convert into the JSON. So I will select that. I will use the same link service. So if you have a same blob storage account, then you can use the same link service because we are connecting to the same storage account right so i can use the same for both only the file path you have to select different what is target location target is output json so i'll select that click on the ok and click on the ok now our source and the sync is ready my uh, copy data pipeline is ready now what we will do we will create a trigger so when actually this particular pipeline should run whenever anyone will upload any file into the storage account so for that i will click on the add trigger click on the new edit we are going to create a new trigger so click on the choose trigger click on the new select the type as a storage event subscription you have to select storage account you have to select and the container name you have to select drop down you will get the container name also so input csv this is the container i will select blob created so if anyone will upload any file into this uh, particular bucket then only i want to run the copy data pipeline so that is why actually i am selecting the blob created and after that just click on the continue continue okay once you do this all right after that we have to click on the publish all click on the publish all Click on the publish. You can see publishing. Once the publish is completed, then we will try to upload one file into the Azure storage and based on that our data pipeline should run. You can see it is it's still publishing. Once the publish will complete, then only we will try to run the pipeline. So we have scheduled our trigger. Okay. You can see publish is now completed. Now what we will do? As of now, I will show you the monitor. I'll try to refresh. You can see there is no pipeline, right? Now I'll go to the storage account. Now input CSV. I will try to upload any CSV file. So if I will upload any CSV file into this particular uh, bucket, then my pipeline should run. So that is the criteria.
employee what i will do i will try to upload any csv file so this is the one of the csv file i am uploading click on the upload now once i will up i have uploaded a file now i will go to the data factory if i will refresh now our pipeline should run because we have uploaded right you can see our pipeline is running and how actually we can verify trigger by trigger one this is the trigger we have created right so i have uploaded any file and this particular pipeline started running now what this will do it will copy a data from csv to the json and it will store into the output container now let's wait you can see it is succeed now now to verify whether it got converted into the json this particular folder you can see employee1.json the csv file got converted into the json means our pipeline is running now if you want to uh, delete the trigger what actually you can do click on the manage here we have option trigger from here also you can create a new or if you want to delete you can delete from here otherwise it will be keep on uh, completing and after that you have to click on the publish all so i hope you got the idea how actually we can create a pipeline yeah that's it in this video. thank you